what is up youtube welcome back to another video in this video i just want to touch on the last video that i made which is my thoughts on affliction i want to tell you guys exactly what i was talking about clear some things up for one let's start with number one it's just wisps i am talking about the wisps i am not talking about the original drop rate the original drop rate of the game could always use more love so please do not think I'm talking about the original drop rate. I actually think they should buff headhunters and mage blood drop rates. Not enough of them drop in a regular league. They don't. So that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying anything about the original drop rates. They should 100% buff the drop rate. When it came down to the wisps, right? This is what I'm going to explain. I have never seen a headhunter. I have never seen a mage blood. I have never seen a mirror. I have never seen multiple divine drops from one mob from a league mechanic at all. Or, or even in general, I've never seen one drop. I've obviously I've grinded them and I've I've gotten them, but I have never ever seen one drop. And I have 11 k hours in the game. The fact that I have to experience the mage blood headhunter or you know mirror drop from affliction don't get me wrong it was cool i do feel like it should happen regularly like next league for example right when next league come around and the original drop rates are back or gg buffs the drop rates even though we not even though we all know it that's not happening let's say we go to the next league everybody's gonna be back into those original drop rates of mage bloods headhunters and mirrors and things not dropping that's was my entire point of my last video was more explaining that when it came down to the lead mechanic, the lead mechanic, it, it, it's for me is making it so like next league, it's going to make a lot of new players and casuals not really enjoy the game anymore. If it does go back to that way of how it used to be, once you have played with the headhunter and mage blood and you've seen mirror drops and stuff, it's really hard to go back to not ha like literally not having a headhunter and mage blood. It, it's quite hard because you get used to those buffs, you get used to blasting maps, you get used to completely just obliterating bosses. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. But for next league, not having all that stuff, and it's kind of hard for you to make currency and things like that, it, it sucks really bad. It was more my point than anything. I wish they would buff the original drop rates so a lot of these, a lot of you people can see these things drop, or even myself see them drop. You know, I can show you right here, right? I've got the mirror, and then right here, I had a mage blood drop. And then by myself, I had a headhunter drop play my Fulcrum Magic Find build. And then also with one of my friends that I played with, I had we, we got 77 divine drops. Like to be able to experience and get all these drops is fun. It is a lot of fun. But next league come around, it's not going to be like that. And in my opinion, I would love to see more of the new players and casuals get into more of the crafting experience of the game so they can be able to, you know, learn how to do islings, learn, you know, learn these certain currency items they can use, even currency wise, like to be able to make currency in a way where every league, you know exactly what to do in that league to make you a bunch of currency. Next league, when you don't have wisps, it's gonna feel bad. It, it honestly is. The last video, I really didn't explain myself that well. So I definitely apologize about that. I hope you all understood where I'm getting at in this video. I'm not trying to down casuals or new players. I'm not mad at the league, nor am I crying or anything like that. I'm not doing any of that. This league for me was fun. It was a lot of fun. I got to get things that I've never gotten before, ever, literally ever. In 11K hours of playing the game, I've never seen a headhunter drop, mage blood drop, mirror drop, never. Even from a Vorborn reliquary key, I got a mage blood and I have never gotten that before. I am super happy at everything this league had to offer because I'm still playing the league. As you guys can tell from my last video, I'm still playing the league. And, you know, let me touch on something else. I am more of an SSF player. I play trade only to play with friends. A lot of my perspectives and a lot of things that I'm saying more goes towards the point of me playing SSF. When I do say these stuff, it's more coming from an experience of like 
the original drop rate should be buffed. We should be getting more crafting options in general. I miss the old Harvest. I miss the old Recombinators. Like, I miss Sentinel. I miss these leagues because they offered so much, you know, in terms of player power, right? A lot of you that, I, uh, that are taking this the wrong way, I'm not downing you guys whatsoever. I think they should buff the drop rates once again, the original drop rates. I really think they should, which is why the last video, hence, it said my thoughts on Affliction, not my thoughts on the game. It's not, has any, nothing to do with the core game whatsoever. I should have said Wisps, but I didn't. I said Affliction, which totally felt like it was like the entire league all around. Get off of that topic, and let's talk about something else. The Charms, in my opinion, was extremely strong, and I hope GGG decides to keep them because they honestly offered so many different ways to build things, like even the tinctures and stuff, like... Being able to build a tri le bow and play like toxic rain totems and stuff on a with, with basically poison with a tincture was a lot of fun. I honestly hope they keep everything in terms of the charms, the specters, and things like that. Even having the specters for SRS, I played that for a little bit and it was extremely fun. And my animated guardian never died whatsoever, and I think that is something that was a big fix towards minion players. I think. They should keep the specters, the charms, even like the skills, fire additional projectiles. That thing is really expensive, but I think they should keep those. The Ellie Reflect char uh, charms, the Fizz Reflect charms is honestly really nice in terms, definitely for hardcore players, because they don't have to go into a map that they, you know, didn't see the mods or whatever and get completely one-shotted off the face of the earth. <laughs> so I, I hope they decide to keep the charms and I hope they decide to keep the specters. The new gems was really interesting now there was something that was completely useless but i mean i think that's how it's going to be regardless it offered way more build viabilities a lot more builds came out and a lot of people got to experiment with so many different builds like scourge arrow the menace oh oh man that felt so good to be able to just run around and a bunch of projectiles fly everywhere and cover your entire screen i hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I cleared up a lot of things. Put your thoughts into the comment section and, you know, just let me know how you feel. I will respond back. I know a lot of people were frustrated in the last video that I made and, you know, I wasn't trying to, like, down you guys or nothing like that. That that wasn't the point of the video. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. 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 And I'll catch you guys in the next video.